Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario. In the last episode, we had arrived here in Star Haven. We got our last Star Spirit power, the Star Beam, and now, once and for all, are we ready to take off? We're going up to Bowser's Castle, which is higher up in the sky, believe it or not. Look! A shooting star! Princess, come back! Princess, come back! Princess, come back! Did you wish for something? I hope your dreams come true. Me too, heart. I want to see the princess. I want to see the princess. I want to see the princess. I want to eat shrimp cake. I want to eat shrimp cake. I want to eat tons and tons of shroom cake. I mean, it's a child. Oh, shooting star, please fulfill my wishes. Pretty please. Be funny if we start just dropping shroom cakes from the back of the shooting star. Now, I don't know why we're not approaching Peach's castle, because that's much closer. A star-powered showdown. Here we are. We're going to save right up here and start by going through this door. So, I think I want Watt out more than any other character, really. Following this path, we have nothing. That's okay. Out here, what I want, actually, since we kind of need it, there's no fire or enemies like that. Let's get spike shield. We're gonna do multi bounce is still good. Let's get quake, mega quake. I'm actually going to take off defense, power, and flower just so that we can actually, you know, build an interesting build. I want mega jump and mega smash for single enemies. Then I want dodge mass. Nah, we'll hold on to that. Now let's do a flower saver. Let's do, let's see, what else do I want? There's no more uh, badges. So let's do power plus. Because damage, if you can do the damage, you don't need to worry about uh, if you can do the damage, you don't have to worry about what happens afterwards. Let's multi-bounce. Next, let's... Let's Electro Dash. And multi-bounce again. And let's Electro Dash one more time. And multi-bounce. There we go. Now there are going to be enemies inside Bowser's Castle that we have not faced with yet. So, I think I still have Quick Change on. Now I'm... Yeah. So, what that... Uh, Koopa, Pat Koopa Patrol gave us a key, but we can't use it on this gate, which is where we can obviously see some toads. So, we can take this key back to our main entrance here. Castle key. 
We have Coup Patrol. Now what I want to do this time is Turbo Charge. Ding, ding, ding. Powered up. Now let's do uh, Mega Jump, actually. Nine damage. Now we can do regular jump. And there we go. Got ourselves four star points, so there's gonna be a lot of enemies we have to take care of. If we want to have full damage. We're gonna mega jump one of the coup patrols. And let's dash this one. Ooh. Oh, I attacked the wrong one. This is what happens when you rush. Now, I do want to state the Amazing Daisy skills that or encounter you can do down in flower fields in order to get to max level means that you can get to Bowser's castle and not have to fight anyone here because instead of attacking people you are instead able to just walk into the enemy and just bump badge them into defeat mega bounce or multi bounce, not mega. The benefit of dealing with the Koopa Trolls. Also, the benefit of having a spike shield. Okay. We've got ourselves. I think there's one more. Yeah. Okay. Big number. Multi bounce. We got everyone knocked down. You know what we can do this time? Let's pull out Bomb Bat. And with Power Bomb, blow everyone up! Really good skill. And that's also why I prioritized, um, ooh, Hammer Bro. Ooh. Okay, so it wasn't the best damage. Oh. Why don't I have the Hammer Bro? Weird. These are hammer bros. You've seen these punks before, haven't you? Max HP 12, attack power 5, defense power 1. Be careful of that hammer. If it hits you, you'll get shrunk in a wink. When the hammer bro gets desperate, they'll hurl a ton of hammers. So watch it. These guys have been a pain for ages. So let's give them an old fashioned whopping. As always, they're not to be underestimated. Okay. Mega jump. Excellent. Excellent time dodge, and we'll do another mega jump. And a head bonk. Perfect. Okay, excellent heal. Okay, I believe we come into the next room and it's our first, it's our first trial. Blur! Welcome, worm. I'm called the guard door of Bowser's castle. It's my job to keep suspicious types from entering. 
You must be Mario. Let me guess. Do you want to go through here? Hmm. You want to get to the other side of this wall, right? Okay, then. <laughs> Stand in front of me. About here? Are you standing squarely in front of me? Okay, then. I'll let you go through. You lied to me! Gwahaha! You fell for it, worm! You'll never escape from that impenetrable prison. Try all you like. All you'll do is exhaust yourself. I'll tell you what, if you make it back up here, I'll let you go through. How's that? Ahahahaha! I know you'll never make it. I hope you have a good time shaking and crying down there. Gwahahahaha! It's the minister! The minister who taught Peach how to be a lady. Oh, Mario, you've come at last. As you can see, we're in a horrible situation. Princess Peach is who knows where, and her beautiful castle is being run by Bowser's horrid staff of rejects. Nothing fills me with more joy than serving this castle with my heart and soul, but right now there's nothing I can do. We have no choice but to rely on you now, Mario. Please, at least save our dear Princess Peach. No problem, we got ourselves a special heal. This wouldn't have happened if we had better defenses. I don't know how I can ever apologize to Princess Peach. Ugh, it doesn't matter. Saving her is all that counts now. I still can't believe all of Peach's castle was kidnapped during the party. I know it was just a means to catch Princess Peach, but still, only an evil fiend like Bowser would do something like that. Please make him pay. Mario, you've come to save us. I knew you would. All the toads in here used to work in Peach's castle. The princess isn't with us. I think she must be confined somewhere else. I think she's in another castle. Mario, don't worry about us. Save Princess Peach. Saving Princess Peach is the only thing that matters. Your princess is in another castle. Break these, you can get a tasty tonic, which if we were feeling fine, uh, will be good. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of Snowman's doll. Because there is no fire enemy here. And break this one for a life shroom. This will definitely take over a shooting star. Because now I have a means to heal twice, if I die. Drop on bed against this wall. There we go. It's a piece of cake to break these walls. The material's weak. These are much easier than the walls of Koopa Bros Fortress. You're really lucky to have me along, aren't you? So th in this world, we're going to really see a showcase of every character's ability. Jump. Welcome to the fiery hall. Just be careful because if you fall, it is like in the volcano where you will take damage. I do like that the lava does seem to have a sort of stretched animation as it gets farther away from solid walls. And there we go. Next, we need... Uh, actually, can Cooper hit that from here? Ah! So you could use Lackey Lester to float your way to the switch. Or you can use Cooper to hit the switch. I never tried using Cooper to hit that switch before. So that was interesting and cool. Uh, I do want to showcase all the characters. We're going to attempt Parkari. Perfect. Oh. I think I need to use Lackey Lester this time. Darn. Jump! Hurry, Lackey Lester! So what's interesting as well, and I'll point it out again when we get to the next area, 
Now we use Parkari. Parkari. Fly me to the moon. Leap. And across. Jump and jump. There we go. Uh, is when you use Lackluster to float over lava, his cloud just kind of gets all huffy. It's pretty funny. Huff. Do want to go forward again. Now we need Lady Bow. Now, I don't know how this actually would work. Because in my head, we're not immune. Oh, no. Of course, I land in between the platform. We don't become physically in... I mean, I guess we do become physically intangible, so... Lava would just go through us, but would we feel the heat of that? Or would we just... Would we feel anything? If you become physically intangible, does that mean there's no... You don't feel heat or anything? I've never really considered what would happen. We want to come into this room and putter our way up. And we have several enemies. Let's pull out Bombette. Uh-oh, Mario is right there! Now what we're supposed to do in this situation? Now what were we supposed to do in this situation? Kami Koopa told us something, but I'm drawing a total blank. I think she told us not to let him touch that switch. Oh, oh no, do you think that means we have to fight him? No, he'll wipe the floor with us. Stop your belly aching. Who says we should be afraid of Mario, huh? He's not so bad. Whatever happens, we can't let him push this switch. Don't you care that King Bowser needs our help? Come on, take this plumber. Show him what you're made of. We have no choice. Gotta be brave. Gotta be... Attack! Oh, that's a new Magic Koopa. Interesting. Okay, multi-bounce. Boints, boints, boints. Ah, oh, that works. Change member to Goombario. Tattle. This is a Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas are elite magicians of the Koopa clan. Max HP 11, attack power 6, defense power 0. Tread carefully, Mario. Their magical attacks pack a serious punch. They know many nasty spells. You'd better beat them before they can do anything crazy. Okay, next let's go to Bombet. Uh, what can I do in this situation? Uh, we'll do Power Bomb. Power bomb! And I do have Mega Quake for this situation as well. Kaboom! Okay! So now we want to hit this switch. And this will lower the lava level and cool the magma. Oh, how totally weird. The lava cooled off and became hard as rock. Neat. It seems cool enough for us to walk on, Mario. Let's go. So now we don't really need Lackaluster to traverse. And to continue forward, we need to find ourselves a key. So let us make haste. I don't want to grab these. Well, maybe this item. Because that is a stronger shooting star. We are going to skip the mystery item, though. Okay. 
in this room we had the room where the lava flow was trying to go into which is this way and in here we have ourselves a treasure chest castle key if you use lackluster to get into this room because you can't jump with him you can't get the castle key now we're not done here yet we want to keep backing up do 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 ba 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 do ba do and then go down this lower door because this lower door will take us to this area and we have a new item here another life shroom of course we'll take that We'll take this over... Hmm. We'll take it over the shooting star. I would rather have life shrooms on me because I do only have 25 HP. And if we keep going, then what we've got over here... is our last badge. Now! You'll notice this badge looks different from Deep Focus because of the golden outline. In development, there was going to be a stronger Deep Focus badge. There was Deep Focus and then there was like Deeper Focus. And the yellow outlined badge was going to be the illustrated version of that new badge. However, this was during the time when you didn't need to stack badges to get the same effects so uh, deep focus and that specialty deep focus badge uh, ended up being discarded once development has decided well if you have multiples of the same badge then you will get multiple effects as a result the Graphic for the Deep Focus boosted badge uh, did not get scrapped. It, uh, it is a, a missed, uh, a missed fix. And we finally have the castle key. So now we can move on to the next room. Because we've turned off the lava, I would assume the hole in the wall that was beside us was supposed to, yeah, fill this room with light. Now, these things are bony beetles. You cannot tattle them, unfortunately, because what needs to be out on the field. I will demonstrate this now. Cannot tattle. So I don't know how you're supposed to get all the tattles anyways when you have things like that occurring. This is where the peekaboo badge would come into play. Uh, because you can use the peekaboo badge to display the health bars of enemies that you have not tattled yet. Ooh, I messed up that jump. I believe they have 8 or 10 HP, maybe 12. So we're going to follow this. Upper path is the way to continue. I did want to see what the lower path did. And you do need Parkari. So, we're gonna off with that. Parkari. Fly across. What? And continue. 
Now, I think the upper path, I always mess up when it comes to the paths. So we want to come this way. A simple pal block, we're going to leave it. I do want to get as many star points as I can before the, f the end. We got Mega Shock. Electro Dash. Multi Bounce. So they have eight, eight health. Down here we have this, which leads to a dead end. So we want to circle back. And once again, pull out Parkari. And pull out Watt again. And into a new area. Here we go. Turbo charge. Ding, ding, ding. Multi bounce. Multi bounce again. Let's get rid of the one that can actually do some serious damage to me. Um, as a result of what we have here, I'll put the Bony Beetle stats right beside me because we can't tattle what his uh, health points are. So I'm hoping that that will help you guys see health points, attack damage, and uh, defense. So, Upper Path, again, gives us an item. Shooting Star. I could get rid of the Tasty Tonic. And another... Oh, I missed hitting the Koop Patrol. Fortunately, it is... There. An easy enough enemy. Next we have uh, the bony uh, bony beetle, and it should be noted that if you do damage the bony beetle, he sticks out his spikes and retracts them. If they're extended, he will stop just before Mario and do like a leap jump against him. So right down here we have another uh, do not drop area and power card and what and up we go oh we're gonna do mega quake And power shock on the magic Koopa. Because he can actually do stuff. Let's get rid of this particular one. Excellent. Electro dash.
and jump. I believe we are gonna get our level up. Yeah, level up. Let's get our boosted flower points. Okay. So, lower path shows us there is a spring we could drop to. Middle path shows us nothing. So let's go upper path. And while we do know there is a spring below, let's jump over. Ugh. Uh, Multi-bounce. Mega shock. Perfect. Multi-bounce. Guess we're getting rid of the first one. Multi-bounce. Okay. And then he doesn't get to do anything. And then regular jump. There we go. Okay. So, he was guarding nothing! That's why you drop. So we're going to jump. There we go. Oh, we have a Magic Koopa. Lots of Magic Koopas. Okay, Mega Quake. And Mega Shock. Power up. And multi bounce. Perfect. Who needs Mega Quake for a secondary hit when you do four damage with jumps? Okay. Right in here. We push this block open. Pull out what? Make sure there's no items. And right in here. Blue. Uh, you came back? You escaped from that underground jail? But there was no way you could escape. Uh, of all the dirty tricks. I guess I have to keep my word. You can go through. Grr. But don't think I'll forget this. We go through, and we've now completed our first trial. So, yay, yay. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Paper Mario. Next time, we're going to continue going through Bowser's Castle. We will most likely reach the second Bowser door in the time limit I've allotted. If not, we'll go a bit further. We're going to try to stick with this 30 minute time spree as we wrap up our adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash that like button and subscribe if you have not for more Paper Mario content. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Later!